Hi, I'm Basil Assaf, and welcome back to Pathology Dynamics. Today we will talk about canine distemper disease, which is caused by canine distemper virus. Canine distemper virus is a pantropic virus, which means it's capable of infecting multiple types of cells. This results in infecting multiple organ systems and wide range of clinical manifestations. Some of the most notable clinical manifestations are related to the respiratory system, as we will discuss in this video, but there is also infection of the GI tract leading to diarrhea and vomition. There is demyelination of the central nervous system and hyperkeratosis of the foot pad and nose, in addition to conjunctivitis and enamel hypoplasia. In this picture, we can see an affected lung. There are scattered dark firm areas on multiple lobes consistent with locally extensive areas of bronchopneumonia. And in this picture, we can see a normal foot pad compared to a swollen hyperkeratotic foot pad. And that's why this disease is also called hard pad disease. Hyperkeratosis can also occur on the nose and we can see in this dog that there is some conjunctivitis around the eye and coming from the nostrils are mucopurulent exudate. Lastly, we can see separation of affected teeth with irregular loss of enamel with discoloration. Microscopically, we can see that except for this small region, approximately 95% of the lung is diffusely hemorrhagic with scattered areas of necrosis. We can also see that the majority of airways are plugged with cellular or exudate in addition to the presence of edema around blood vessels. On higher magnification, we can see that airways are plugged with cellular exudate and the lining epithelium is hyperplastic. We can also notice that alveolar architecture is replaced by marked inflammation, hemorrhage, and fibrin with edema. On further higher magnification, we see that the inflammation is composed of abundant degenerate and non-degenerate neutrophils, macrophages, fibrin deposits, and abundant hemorrhage. Less affected alveoli are lined by type 2 pneumocyte hyperplasia, and frequently pneumocytes fuse together and form multinucleated viral syncytia containing up to 10 nuclei. This is one example here, this is another example, and here is a third example. Frequently, pneumocytes and macrophages, especially viral syncytia, contain eosinophilic intracytoplasmic and intranuclear viral inclusion bodies. This is another example of intracytoplasmic inclusion here, and here is another one. And one more example of several intranuclear and intracytoplasmic inclusions within a large syncytia. The presence of viral syncytia along a combination of intracytoplasmic and intranuclear viral inclusions is consistent with canine distemper virus. Canine distemper virus belongs to the genus Morbilivirus and the family Paramyxoviridae. Other related Morbiliviruses that are well known are measles virus that infect human and non-human primates, render pests, that infects cattle and other large ruminants, piste de petite ruminants virus that infects small ruminants such as sheep and goat, Hendra virus that infects horses, Nipah virus that infects pigs, Focine distemper virus that infects seal, and Cytosine distemper virus that infects dolphins. All morbilly viruses express fusion proteins on their surface that cause infected cells to fuse and form these multinucleated viral syncytia, which are along the intranuclear and intracytoplasmic eosinophilic inclusions are characteristic features of morbilly viral infections. As usual, if you like this video, please hit the like button and make sure you view the previous videos. Also, don't forget to spread the knowledge and share this video with friends and colleagues. And please subscribe to the channel to receive all new videos. Thank you.